Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Aurea and this is DIY with Aurea. My dear friends, we are back this month with Recreation Inspiration. It is being hosted by Loli, Loli Dees Creations, along with Kate, Lady Red Crafting. Today I am their guest host, DIY with Aurea. I am so honored to be in the same playlist as these beautiful and talented creators. And there's also a playlist and I will be leaving all of these links down in my description box so you could go ahead and visit them and give them a lots of love by subscribing, sharing, and liking, and let them know that I send you. If you are coming over from one of the other platforms, I am so happy and honored to have you here. And in today's open playlist, we must create another creator's project. And of course, we must mention them and give them credit. And today I was inspired by crafting with JC. And I was inspired by this beautiful tray. I'm going to go ahead and try to make it as close as possible to the way she made it. So based on the size of the tray that I created, it took three of these Hawaiian skirts. All I did was just take them in section and braid all three bundles. this wood round i am recycling it i'm just going to start adding some hot glue and placing the braid or the braided hawaiian skirt right here in the middle and then i'm just going to be twisting it around until the entire wood round is completely covered with these braids Now this section is completely done, so now I'm going to start gluing the braid on the side so I can give it some height and it can start looking like a tray. And I'll be placing three layers. By the time I was finished putting the three layers, I thought that I was recording, but for some reason I did not record adding the handles. But all I did was twist it, make it sort of like a U, and then just add some hot glue and place one on each corner. And if you are going to be visiting crafting with JC, make sure to let her know that I send you over. I truly like the way this little tray turned out. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this one. Your opinion is really valuable to me. So leave it in the comment section and let me know your thoughts about this tray. And here is the final reveal. And for this project, it was so easy. It took me two minutes. I was inspired by glue gun and roses. What a talented creator. She created hers in black and I am leaving mine in white. And this is it. Look at how beautiful. Now you could go ahead, take it outside and spray paint it whatever color you want. But I am going to be leaving it in white. And that is all. If you blinked, you missed it. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts. Moving on to project number three, I also got inspired by crafting with JC. This is the one she created. The only difference is that I am creating mine in black and I am using black chalk paint. I'm going to give it one entire coat to the entire piece. And the rings, they were already from a different project, so they were already painted in black. Now some of the gold was penetrating through and I left it just as is.
and here it is guys all nice and dry and it looks really nice i'm enjoying this color so now i'm gonna go ahead and hot glue both of them right here together and then i'm just gonna take this jewel cord and start wrapping it around on both of the rings just to keep the rings together So I wrapped it like about an inch. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cut that, add a little bit more of hot glue to make sure that it's nice and tucked in. And then we could go ahead and add that plank right in the middle. And the way that she secured her rings on this was with some popsicle sticks. So I am gonna be doing the same thing. I'm gonna be, I already actually took the popsicle sticks and off camera, I painted them uh, with the same chalk paint, cut them in half, and then that's how I'm gonna be securing it in place. This project was nice and simple also. I have this jewel cord and I am creating the hook. I am putting this in my bathroom. I have a hook on the ceiling and this will be hanging from that hook. This is adorable and you could add on the plank whatever decoration you want. Guys, let me know in the comment section if you were going to recreate this, where in your home will you display it at? I have it in my bathroom and I think it looks absolutely pretty. I hope you enjoy and here is the final reveal. For this fourth project, I was inspired by Glue Gun and Roses. My project is going to look a little different, but I was inspired by her. She is such a great creator. So as you see, I am using wood glue and I'm making four sets of three. Now I added plenty of hot glue to these pieces because I don't want these pieces to be falling apart once I'm done with the project. I'm not worried if it has a lot of glue because that will be disguised and you will not be able to see the glue once it's dried. So now I'm going to go ahead and start gluing all these four sets of three all together, creating sort of like the same thing that you saw in the beginning, a coastal. So I set it to the side and then the next day I came back and it was nice and dry. So with white chalk paint, I'm going to start distressing the whole entire piece, front and back. And I'm going to be heavily distressing it. I have these little transferable stickers from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna go ahead and use all of them and I'm just gonna go ahead and rub them on each corner and this is going to be turning out absolutely gorgeous. And I wanna thank Kate and Lolly for inviting me to be the guest host for this open playlist. I am so honored to be on the same playlist as them. I'm gonna be leaving the playlist along with their channels down below. Please make sure to visit them and 
give them a lots of love let them know that i sent you and to my subscribers and my future subscribers i want to thank you for stopping by and clicking into my channel i hope that you have enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give me that big thumbs up and let me know which one is your favorite these little transferable stickers i found at the bottom of my stash this was leftovers actually from different project so as you can see they were really easy to transfer over and i'm just putting some in each section and then after that i'm just gonna go ahead and add the uh, wood beads now glue gun and roses she made a set of coisters but i am making a little riser and here are the half beads that i was telling you that i bought at the garage so i bought so many of them i was so happy when i saw these wood beads so I'm going to go ahead and add these half wood beads. I came in with some acrylic paint. I also gave it one coat to these uh, legs. And that is it. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts. Let me know which is your favorite so far. And here's the final reveal.